Today is day 199, again. I'm using a kettlebell. I don't like these things. It is uncomfortable. It's kind of heavy. It's very uncomfortable. That is honestly the main reason why I wanted it. It draws me out of my comfort zone. Whatever you want to do with a kettlebell, it's not comfortable. It doesn't feel right. You can't really curl it like a dumbbell. A 40 pound dumbbell, I could curl no problem. This 40 pound kettlebell has some weird energy behind it. I don't mean that in the woo woo, like bad juju energy. I mean like this thing's got some inertia. When I pick it up, it wants to rotate. When I curl it, it wants to rotate. It always wants to rotate. It is weird to hold. There is a handle, but unless I'm doing rows, if I'm using it for doing rows, it's perfect, honestly. It's super good for rowing. If I'm using it for anything else, it's like ruining my day, basically. I don't like using this thing. I don't like using any kettlebell for that matter. However, it is quite useful. Since I am watching this house for a little while, since I'm out of the gym for quite a while, I figured I would bring along my kettlebell and maybe I would actually learn how to use it. So. I did a little bit of research. I found a new way to hold it for these goblet squats. Normally I hold it by the horns. That's what the two, the two parts of the handle are called apparently. They're called horns. So normally I would hold it by the horns and try to keep it up that way. That would really tire out my arms and that means it's working. However, I tend to work my arms more than my legs, and that's not really a good sign for squats. If you're doing squats and your arms are getting tired before your legs, you should probably change something up. That doesn't seem like a very effective leg exercise then. So. I did a little bit of research. I found this new way to hold this thing and it's quite a bit better. There's another upside down grip. I forgot what it was called already. I'm not doing that one. That one looks kind of iffy. You like don't hold it by the handles at all. You hold it like a goblet and just hope I guess that that it's secure, that you don't get tired, that you don't get hit by a gust of wind. I like when I can get a grip on something and the kettlebell is kind of glossy and it doesn't really offer much grip for me. This way of holding it where I grab it by the horns and I hold it upside down does work. I could have done some more reps today, honestly. I only did five sets of 30 with the 45 pound or the, the 40 pound kettlebell. That's what I did, five sets of 30. I believe on Mondays in my program, I had written that I would do five sets of front squats. I figured that the kettlebell is as close as I'm going to get 
to a front squat or that the goblet squat is the closest I'm going to get to a front squat in the near future. So it is what it is. I'm going to pretend like this was five sets of front squats and I'm still going by the program that I haven't even finished writing yet. It'll all happen. I'll get there. Once I'm done watching this house, I will quickly apply all of my notes and get my program done. I'll get my program done. I'll start working out following the program and that'll be good. That'll be productive, I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Anyways, at this point I'm kind of rambling. Today I did five sets of kettlebell goblet squats, and that's it. Bye.